Reconciliation. Reconciliation has come to have multiple meanings in the Canadian discourse. For some, it began as a word representing hope, and for others, it is a meaningless word of disappointment. There is so much work to do for Canadians, and for us, Inuit, people of this earth, and that work begins from within. In 2008, when the Government of Canada apologized for the wrongs they have done to the Inuit, it acknowledged the truths of the trauma that so many endured within Indian residential schools and its profound effects on their families. The voices that were silenced were free to speak openly about those experiences. For Nagawi Sis and I, we were ready to share our stories of the Indian residential schools and its intergenerational effects. Reconciliation opened opportunities for us to connect with many communities who were ready to hear our truth. For Nagawi Sis, every time she shared her Indian residential school experience, she learned more about her strength and courage. With each story, her peace and forgiveness grew, not only with herself, but to those she once saw as oppressors. To us, that is what reconciliation is, to try make peace and understand ourselves from our history to the present so that we may in turn understand one another. The more we learned about where we come from, the more we move towards resilience, and that is what inspired us to journey within four seasons to over 26 communities in Treaty 6 territory to share our stories while engaging in creative expressions. From rural Alberta to urban centers and First Nations, we smudged, prayed, spoke Nehiawin, sang, laughed, cried while beating, sewing, picking medicines with children, seniors, professionals, educators, and learners. Within small spaces, gymnasiums, the River Valley to our home community of Sad Lake Cree Nation. Within each workshop, our hearts, minds, and worldviews grew as a collective with more love, gratitude, and understanding. In Nehiao Mumtsunetsugan, our Cree worldview, our language is spirit, our words are medicine. Sharing the truth and reconciliation is hard work, but we know we can bring spirit and medicine into the words of truth and reconciliation, one word at a time. Here are the words shared by a few of our many new relatives, and for them we are grateful. Hi hi mistai gakyao nawagamaganak It's the only way rise up mother earth she's crying and people are dying every day how can we treat a world this way what's it going to take to make us change come on come on we got to make a change rise up mm, we got to work together now rise up are dying every day how can we treat our world this way are you listening are you listening are you listening to a word that i say rise up 